Hello, I would like to go over your layers project with you. I'm going to show you the three uh, simple tricks to add uh, softness and a little bit of drama to your to your photos. We're going to do easy blur, blur overlay, and neon glow. I'm going to show you all three of these. They're very simple. It involves working with layers in Photoshop or in Pixlr, which is the one I'm going to show you right now. So in Pixlr, I'm going to start with for the easy blur photo. The first one, I'm going to start with a picture uh, of me and my friend. And I would like to make this a little bit glamorous. So you know how I do uh, glamour shots? I'm going to do a glamour shot for you. Then I'm going to go to a uh, layer, my first step, and I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to do this on each one. So if I look in my layers window, I can double check and see that I have the duplicate layer. On this top layer that I have selected, and I know it's selected because I have it in blue, I'm going to go to the filter the Gaussian Blur is the name of this filter I'm going to use. And when I click on that, you notice that it blurs us all out. It looks like you don't have your glasses on. You can adjust that. I'm going to adjust it down a little bit so it's not overwhelmingly blurred. Probably right around here, around 30. It depends on your photo. You can see. You still want to see and recognize what the objects or subject is. But you're going to blur it out a little bit. I'm going to push OK. OK. And then I'm going to come over and reduce the opacity. If you don't see the opacity uh, tool in the layers window, you have to click the toggle settings and then all I need to do is lower that opacity to um, an area that it makes it so I can still see. What I'm trying to do is create that glamour glow. I'm going to come down just a little bit and I'm going to show you a trick that I do um, since when you're using portraits um, it was real obvious that you have a glamour a glow or some kind of blur on it if you have the eyes and the features, the eyes and the mouth especially, blurred out. So I'm going to do a little trick for you, which is optional. I'm going to grab my eraser, and I'm on my top layer, and I'm going to erase through where the eyes are. I'm just clicking, just so it looks a little bit more like, like us, and I'm going to bring our teeth back look a little bit better. That's an option you can use. And so what it does is it blurs us and makes us look uh, like our skin is more perfect, but then you can still see our features. So you can play around with your eraser, what you want to show through. You could do that on the hair too as well if you want. All right, that's easy blur. That's your first one. I'm going to go to your next photo. I already have it ready. I'm going to go to um, the overlay. This is the blur overlay. So I'm starting with a photo that I already adjusted the, the contrast and the color just a little bit. My first step is again the same. I'm going to go and duplicate the layer. So now I have two. Two layers. The top one is the one I'm going to adjust and I'm going to leave the bottom one the same underneath and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to go to that same filter. Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to adjust it wherever I want it. I want it, the objects or the subject to be blurred out, but not too much. I'm going to come a little bit higher on this one than I did on the other one because it's not uh, a portrait. It's not as obvious. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the the layer mode. And again, it's my top layer, so I'm going to adjust the top mode. And if you don't see this again, it's hidden here. So click the toggle layer settings, and then I'm going to choose overlay. That's why it's called Blur Overlay. So when I click Blur, blur Overlay, I get a real dramatic, uh, high contrast and rich color to it. And then if I want to, I can adjust the opacity so that I can see through the bottom layer. It depends on how much I want to show. Maybe right around in here. So that would be your Blur Overlay. So that's the second one. Your last one is the most dramatic one. I'm going to show you. It's the Neon Glow. So this one is fun. We're going to mimic the neon glow filter. So I'm starting with this photo, which I've already edited a little bit. And for this one, my first step again is to duplicate my layer. So now I have two layers, the same picture on top of itself. I'm going to work with the top layer again. Under adjustments, sorry, under adjustments, you go to the very bottom, you're going to go to color lookup, and we're going to change the color dramatically of this photo. So it automatically goes to black and white, but you're going to choose a different one. I'm going to choose this one right here. Click the different colors that you want. The color that you're picking right now is going to be your glow color. So it generally works well to use a bright color that's an opposite 
to the color that's uh, most in your photo. Since my photo is greenish blue, I'm going to use kind of an orange, orangish red filter. And the next step is to lower that because that's a little extreme. And so I'm going to click where it says opacity. Opacity is um, how see-through your layer is. And I'm going to lower it to around 60 or so right around in here so it's not as overwhelming. Right here is good. And select OK. And then the very last step is again to go into your layer settings, your mode. I'm going to choose overlay again, the same one I just used. And when I click to overlay, then it's it doesn't um, block out the entire color. And so now I have that glow color, that orangish uh, red color is my glow. I can lower the opacity if I want to. If I don't want it as dramatic or if I like it where it was, I can leave it. And so that is your final um, edit. Your final layers project is the neon glow, which is the most dramatic one.